All right, Peanut turned the light on. He's pointing at it, y'all. Y'all know how hard it is to find one of those for me? Um, I purchased this from somebody. I can't remember the name. I should. But... Welcome to Peanuts Automotive Adventures. It's Peanut and James. Welcome to Peanuts Automotive Adventure, where every day is automotive adventure, right? Yeah. So, to well, before we get into today's video, give official shout out to our official sponsors, thegraphicspotva.com. Reach out to them. Look, I'm getting Peanut all out the frame. Reach out to them for all your graphic needs. Whatever you need, they can do it. Uh, hats, tumblers, anything of that nature. Graphic design, design your logo. I always forget. To say that yeah. design logo but that's probably graphic design all wrapped up in ruin and also uh official shout out to our official sponsor another sponsor innovative powders right there yep you pointing right there yep that's where the logo going to be reach out to them for all your powder coat needs uh whatever you have they can do it you know what i'm saying um like we've been having intercooler pipe and powder coated and all that good stuff probably gonna have some stuff off of uh old roscoe right here powder coated real soon and i need to fetch in the shed it's getting warmer we have no excuses fetch that stuff out the shed that needs to be powder coated all right today's video we're gonna go into the honeycomb hideout annex and show y'all a little something special this is gonna be a really really short video really really short video it's with gnx 549 and we finally got a piece that i've been looking for thankful to i can't remember the facebook group i was in but it's a turbo buick facebook group i want to say buick grand national tech group or the buick Grand National Group. I can't remember the group, but I purchased something that I've been looking for for a very long time. And they're, hard, and they're becoming harder to find for these cars because they're getting older. Every year is 2024. Car was made in 1986, 1987. But we finally got one. And let me turn this around and show you guys, Team Run It. Hold on, Team Run It. Before we get to Honeycomb to the Honeycomb Hideout Annex, I want to um, put out that we will be doing a, a giveaway package a, a peanuts automotive adventure giveaway package where we're trying to give away some uh peanuts automotive adventure swag t-shirt you know keychain tumbler decal and we're probably gonna throw a banner in there uh and we're just trying to because we're trying to uh pump it up to what we try and get to peanut three thousand subscribers so we're trying to do a giveaway you know uh celebration uh, when we reach uh, 3,000 subscribers. So I'm going to keep putting it out there. Yeah, we're going to do a giveaway. So, you know, y'all y'all keep on, you know, tell your friend. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. I know that's early in the video. But, you know, we're going to go ahead and get it get it going, get it popping. Hold on, Pina. I don't want you to smash your fingers. Let me help him uh, raise the hood up a little bit. And we're going to turn this camera around and show y'all a little simple piece that is very, very hard to find, in my opinion. Because... Unless you got a, a um, uh, Peanut trying to point to it. Hey, turn that light on for me. Turn that light on for me. Hold on. Let me turn this camera around. All right, Peanut turned the light on. He's pointing at it, y'all. Y'all know how hard it is to find one of those for me? Um, I purchased this from somebody. I can't remember the name. I should. But I purchased it for like, I want to say $30 plus the ride plus shipping. And to me, it's so hard to find this piece right here. Yeah. Just my opinion. The Project Car has one. Yeah. Project Black Ice has one with it. Uh, we have to get one more for Old Zelda. Because as y'all can see, these cars, I'm trying to kind of keep factory looking. That's just me. That's my, uh, that's our choice, right, Peanut? Yeah. That's our choice. You know, we just trying to keep it factory looking. We're not trying to do too much to it except for this we're gonna order this this got to come off this is all right it, it was an all right um replacement i'm not even gonna lie because it's it's sturdier than the original one but i want the original hose on here sorry y'all and um you know we, we try to keep these cars really simple keep them alive running 
That's the project car right there. That's the drag car underneath there. That's the one that's just that that thing that thing got a Ford rear end, 400 transmission. So it's nothing original about that car. That car is made for speed. It's made for us to uh, to um, you know to drag race. But this one right here, I actually wanna um, keep it kind of original. We're gonna change those wheels, of course. Those gotta go. Try to keep it a little original. But I'm gonna go ahead and order that hose. I think Highway Stars might have it. Um, the, uh, the the last hose I had, uh, believe it or not, um, let me turn this around. For GNX 548, we had got the original hose for that car. That car had the original hose on it. But what happened was the radiator hose clamp, the part that holds the radiator hose, I can't remember. But pretty much that, that sheet metal screw that went into the clamp punched the hole into the actual original hose. So the math airflow sensor was reading unmetered air and all that good stuff. So, but shout out to uh, Richard Clark garage. Uh, he gave me an original one in the original package uh, about, I want to say back in 2019, it was some years back and he gave us an original one free of charge. I try to pay for it because I believe in life. Nothing's free. Nothing's free. We all work for a reason. We all work to get what we want. Right, Peanut? Look at Peanut studying that Grand National emblem. But uh, shout out and thank you to Richard Clark uh, out of Burlington, North Carolina. He actually gave me a hose. And I probably never told that story to nobody, but he gave me the hose. He just told me, hey, here, take it. Take it. And, um, and he said that he liked GNX 548 because... I guess he cater. I can't say cater, but he liked that I was trying to keep it still original, no code air intake and all that good stuff. So, uh, but it's not original, not really. Uh, but you know, he he just he just gave it to me, and I'm thankful for it. In 2024, he gave it way back to me in 2019, maybe 18, 19. It's been so long ago, but yeah, but but that's uh, we just had to show y'all this. You know, just show y'all this, man, because it was hard. I feel like it's hard getting that piece. What y'all think, Team Run It? Put it in the comments. Is it hard to get that uh, air? I want to call it an air horn that goes to the air filter intake. Um, I mean, the air filter housing. And I don't know. I'm, I'm just proud of it, man. I'm so happy to get it. Um, also, we still got one more left to get for the gold car. And, and we'll find one online. Somebody uh, somebody's going to send. Um, somebody going to have one for sale. Uh, Cause I've been noticing a lot of Turbo Buick guys have been dumping their uh, their storage units full of uh, parts and all that stuff, and of course we be I'm always on there looking, you know, to see see what I need, you know, and all that good stuff. But hey, it's all good. Let me turn it around. Let's talk to Peanut real quick. Yeah, team, run it. Uh, Peanut was looking at that. Yeah. Uh, it needs an eighth of an inch right there. How I know that? Because I got this. And we go, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. Eighth of an inch right there. That's our little cheat sheet right there that we keep on hand, hanging in the garage. Um, GNX 549 right here. Just had to show y'all that. Let me show y'all again. Also, it cleaned up very nice, too. I used some uh, detail garage all-purpose cleaner. This thing was white. I'm talking about white. You could probably kind of still see it from sitting in storage and whatnot. But I hit it with that um, detail garage all-purpose cleaner, and it came out great. Came out great. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. Think about driving this one to work. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. I know I need to put air in the tires. It's been sitting. But yep, yep, yep. Pina, tell us how school. Uh, uh, what y'all learned in school today? Fractions. Fractions. Okay. Mathematics, fractions. They're learning simple fractions. He's in the second grade. He's doing good. And you know math equates to cars, right? Yeah. See? And driving, you know, yeah. numbers, numbers is everything. So proud of you for taking your math to the next level. You're almost in third grade, right? Yeah. You're going to be happy when you're in third grade, huh? So, all right. There ain't nothing wrong with that. All right, let me turn this around and close this out. Like I said, very short video. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We just wanted to show y'all that because when did we install that? This weekend? One day last week we installed it. Uh, it ain't hard to install. You just got to take the... Uh, the, the housing off and install it and get you a plastic, I forgot, push button little clip to hold Last it in week. place. Huh? Last week. 
Last week. Okay, see, he knows. But, hey, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell. Thank you for all the support. Uh, you know, short video. We're we going to have more content coming, as usual. Uh, Grand National content. Even uh, we got to do an update video on the Mustang, right? Yeah. On what we done did to the Mustang so far. You know, update y'all on that. Because we got projects, projects, projects. And we got some um, testing and tuning coming. Once this weather gets correct, it keeps raining every weekend for his junior dragster. We're going to do some testing and tuning. Get him in those beams, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's all ready for that, y'all. All right. Hey, that's Peanut. I'm James. It's Peanut's Automotive Venture. We out. Peace. Peace.